your hosts, Sean and Marianne Bond. <laughs> well, hello, pair of peeps, and welcome to another episode of <sighs> Our Haunted Travels. Let's talk paranormal life. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm your co host, Mary Ann Donnelly. <laughs> I could see it's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> Tonight, we have a special treat for you. That's right. We're finally getting back to what this show is supposed to be. Let's talk paranormal. We have special guests waiting in the wings. That's right. Waiting patiently. They are. So we're going to get on with it and let's do some housekeeping. While we are doing that, everybody who's in chat, please check in and let us know where you're from. Yes. That way we can say hello to you. What do you got over there, Sean? I'm bringing up my slides. Bringing up your slides? All right. All right. So let's talk about tonight's show producer, shall we? Dear, will you do the honors? Of course. Tonight we have Promote Horror, 12 Night Horror, and Adrian DeWolf. Adrian DeWolf. We That's a, a new, new one. one. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. And it and took me a second to read it, and too. And I was supposed to change the slide. We're supposed to say this, production supporters now. Okay. Thank you. So starting next week, it'll be production supporters. Thank so, you. So <laughs> I got a new one in here. I got a new one. Go you ahead. Do. Tell them how they could become a production supporter. All right. So you can become a production supporter by following us on Twitter, liking, retweeting, and commenting on our posts. Be in the top three and be a co-producer. Or you can pay $5 a month or more for a Patreon supporter. That's right. We have our Patreon page up, finally. See, I need sound effects. I need something that goes, ah. Okay, whatever. Just say no. Just say no. <laughs> Who cares? Nobody cares. It's done. I'm just excited because it's another thing off the checklist. Another checklist. Yeah, another gotcha. Thing. All Another right. checkbox <clears throat> taken taken care of for you. Just a disclaimer, we are live, so I apologize ahead of time for saying something stupid, but Marianne will definitely, definitely correct me. Of course I will. Especially if you watch some of our videos, that happens quite a bit, but that's okay. <laughs> At this point, if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like, do all those fun things, and let's get more people to the party, guys. Share this stream out. Tell them. We got some royalty in the house. It's going to be joining us, and they don't want to miss it. That's right. We're so not the royalty, the but yeah, they it's are. Not us. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not us. But hey, share it out. And like we said a little bit earlier, just like a couple, like a little bit earlier, like 30, 40 seconds ago, we said we do have a Patreon page. The link is somewhere down in the description and all over our channel. And we are monetized, so we do have Super Chat. Just mention it. Not begging for money. Just saying it's there. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know. You know you're going to get, like, really scrunched under the table for that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, why don't you tell them who, the, who we are? Well, I'm Marianne, and this is Sean. And basically, we have a database of paranormal locations that have well over 700 locations. We've been to over 200 of them. And every week... We go ahead and tell you a little bit about one of those locations. That's right. That is what our haunted travels is all about. It's our haunted travels. That's right. <laughs> locations we've been to with paranormal claims. Right. We tell you the history of the location, some paranormal claims of the locations, and then, of course, our experiences should we have had any at that location. That's right. So if you're into history and some of the research that we've done and paranormal stuff and you know, some of the evidence that we've collected or even some of the evidence that other paranormal channels, I mean, we're starting to link to them in our database. Yes, we're starting to get a couple you know, of those. Yes, we're starting to tie everything together and see what other people found. And it's actually quite interesting when you see multiple groups go to the same place and get the same evidence. That, yes. That's really kind of cool. And Panic D, you can do that. So mm -hmm. um, that's who we are. That was a little longer than expected. But anyways, hey, why don't we do the roll call? All right. 
Uh, so if you haven't put anything in the chat in a few minutes and you got yourself timed out from being listed as a participant, please go ahead and just say hello real quick. And I'm going to start telling you who is listed. So we have Craft Beer Pours. We have In the Woods with Wolfie. John is out there. Joy Stewart. Kelly Reynolds YT. Mystic Angel Christina. Nomadic RV. Stacy Morgan. Steve O D313, Tracy at T Throng, and Timber Hill Red Ho Red Bone Coon Hounds. I love that name. I know. Timber Hill Red Bone Coon Hounds. I always want to do just Red Coon Hounds though. I always oh, want, you I always say forget the, the Red thing. Bone part. You gotta say the whole yeah. thing. And then we have one that I cannot <laughs> pronounce. I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy. That's um, all right. That's what you're doing. Zibglis. I'm not sure. I apologize. If you want to give me a phonetic spelling on that, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, and I'm sure that there is probably somebody else out there who has uh, said something earlier and just got timed out of the, the list. Uh, I know Irish Whiskey and Andrew Kitchens were here, so they definitely did. Bored Mustang Man Destroys All Trolls, they were here. Um, so if we missed you in that list, uh, please pop in and say hello, and I will say hello back. All righty. Good job. Good job. All right, folks. If you would like to become a certified parapeep, parapeep's what we call our people who subscribe to us. Okay. All you got to do, all you got to do, it's very <laughs> simple. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, take a screenshot of that, and email it off to panicdvideos at gmail.com. That is our channel name at gmail.com. And tell us that you did that. And guess what? We were caught up and we got more. But we got to get caught up again. You got more again? Yeah, we got more. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, we finally got That's all, fine. all That's caught great. up last week. And now we'll be doing some more because people have become pair peeps since we listed that information about right. that great prize you're giving Which away. Which I'm going to talk about here in a second. All right. All right. Once you do that, we will send you back a certificate saying, it's official. <sighs> <laughs> it's official. And if you include your Twitter on that, we'll tweet it out as well. So uh, that's what you got to do. Okay, that's from last week. That's from last week. Let's talk about that huge giveaway. You got that link? Can you drop that link? Uh, in a second. All righty. So, hey, every week we go live with Let's Talk Paranormal. We I give lost something it. away. I but lost the link. We are, okay, that's all right. I we think are. I over it. Um, kind of doubling up, actually tripling almost, almost, a couple of the shows where um, we're going to do a big, huge giveaway because you guys helped us get partner verified. So uh, the main prize is actually a $50 Amazon card. And I said that for every additional 25 that we get registered in there, I'm going to add in another $25 uh, gift card. There is a video that we have out there. Marianne's getting the link for it right now. I'm working on it. And she's going to drop it in the chat here if you guys have not entered to win it you can watch that video it tells you what you need to do basically same thing to become a certified parapet but make sure you put the hashtag pick me in the subject and those of you who send emails to yourself hint 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 you need to send it to us to panic videos at gmail.com and we will put you in the hopper do you have a large domain. a large amount of people doing that all of a sudden i don't know <laughs> Sending it to themselves. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready for your uh, eBay update? All right. She's over here working like uh, I know. Cat I'm, in the hat. I'm like, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I got the link in there for you. So I just dropped the link for the giveaway video. And I'm ready for my. my All update. right. Let's see if we could crash OBS. Here we go. <laughs> it's time for. Marianne's eBay update. <laughs> yeah, Sean loves this part. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, as you got, as pretty much most of you know, we're big Lincoln buffs. Yes. And uh, so basically, I try to find places that have to do with Lincoln and you know all kinds of stuff. We've had some other eBay pieces that I've shown you that have been Lincoln. Let me things. add to that. You said we're Lincoln buffs. Okay, if you guys have followed along with our Lizzie Borden stuff. Yes. We could probably do about the same with Abraham Lincoln. Pro oh, yeah, probably. Just mm -hmm. to let you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
just more locations are involved. Just more locations are involved. Yeah, a lot more locations are involved with Lincoln. But anyways, go ahead. All right. So in any case, uh, adding to my little pieces of Lincoln historical pieces of buildings, uh, I have a little chunket of the Dr. Samuel Mud House that I got. It just literally came in the mail today. It's a tiny little piece of wood uh, from the house. It's actually right here. Uh, I was trying to see it from behind. Uh, it's a piece of wood lath, actually, from in the Samo Mud House that was removed during renovation in the 1980s. So it's actually just kind of taken out not that long ago. Um, but it was uh, given up by uh, Dr. Samuel Mudd's actual granddaughter was the one who actually released the piece originally. So That's this is cool a little, little piece of that. Yeah, so... He, Lincoln wasn't at the Mud House. Of course, John Wilkes Booth, the supposed only... Supposed. <laughs> yes. Supposed um, assassin. Yes. Supposed only assassin. Well, supposedly... Supposedly was treated here no, for his broken leg. He was treated there. Supposedly they assassinated him. Right. Or right. they... He. Captured him and took care of him. But supposedly. But... <laughs> Who knows? Yes. So, Tracy. Holy cow, Tracy. Thank you very much. You're too sweet, that Tracy. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. You didn't have to do that. Sean's going to get in trouble for that. Yeah. I'm going to get the nails here. Yeah. Under the yeah, table. He is. But anyway, so I have my piece of the Dr. Mud House, uh, and that is my eBay purchase that I got so, today. So, Tracy, does that go to uh, support um, Marianne's habit? <laughs> 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 is that what that's for? <laughs> pay off the credit card hey i don't buy any of my ebay purchases with credit card right, so i use my bank account so well, that i don't way, Tracy, spend more you. than i have you are officially <laughs> our first super chat thank you that is that is awesome but um hey let's tell them how they get entered to win stuff that we're going to give back so you know that's all right. awesome. All right. Yeah, you're not getting my piece of Dr. Mudd's house. No, you're not getting Dr. Mudd's yeah. house. We're not going to yeah. throw it in there. But we do have some stuff from Gettysburg, I think. we're. We do still have some still. things that we were going to give away from there. Here's how you get entered to win it, folks. If you have not sent in that email, make sure you do. You know, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, take a screenshot, and email it to panicdvideos at gmail.com with the subject, pick me. Yes, That's I love that one. Pick me, pick, pick me, pick me. <laughs> And I want to I wanted to say a thank you. I mean, um, <clears throat> a lot of other uh, community members, Michael Ferrer, uh, Happy Trails Hiking, uh, several others have been mentioning it on their streams and passing it out. And this is just a big thing. I mean, it, it's uh, for everybody. It's for us giving back or giving back to you guys for helping us uh, get over that horrible hump. <laughs> it's not horrible. I, I don't know whatever uh, all right okay so hey you know what these folks aren't here most of these folks are probably how many we got in chat scroll down there i don't know why oh, every screen that i have here i cannot see that yeah, there you go all right so you want to help me let's see if i could bring that hopefully they're still with us <laughs> hopefully they're still there guys give me a thumbs up if you can hear me <laughs> All right, yes, they're still there. All right. Hey, you want you want to help me welcome them? Okay. Are we ready? Is there I something special everything. that I'm going to say? Yeah, I was going to do a little <laughs> clip it of their little theme song, but oh. I think we need to sing it because I didn't do the clip it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right. Folks, come on. we got to get fired up and welcome our first remote guest on the show. I said all along it was going to be... Pusha Studios. That's right. Our very first guest. We had Joanne that was here with in us. In the studio. We've done right. remote shows that we have people with us. Right. But the first person to come on, let's talk paranormal and tell their paranormal story. And I'm talking down here to myself and not to you guys up there. It was going to be Talk Pusha to the Studios. little white light. The little so, white light. The little white light. <laughs> so, hey, put your hands together. Let's get them in here, folks. Here we go. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm leaving this all to you. Are you ready? <laughs> do -ga, do -ga, do -ga. Are you ready? <laughs> all right, I gotta figure out how to unmute the audio. There we go. <laughs> well, welcome, Henning Henning Video Videos. Oh, goodness. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> 
That Welcome awesome. to the show, guys. I need sound Dude, effects like that now. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Zenny's going to hate that thing. I give her about four days and she's going to despise that. <laughs> I see a lot of a lot of nails going into your thigh. <laughs> yeah. Do you get the Do you get the just the gentle bump, or do you get the full nail? Because I, I get everything. The, I get the I full. I have some pretty decent looking nails. I get the full you know, sharp claws. It, well, it, it depends on how bad it is. You know, if I'm really bad, it it could draw see, blood. See, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I know those nails intimately. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see my specially themed nails for today's live? I oh, see wow. they look, look very that. dark. That's <laughs> awesome. See, here's my themed nails. Uh, oh wait, they're blank. They're always that way. I o the only time I actually ever do my nails is when we're doing one of our big murder mystery dinners that is for like 250 people. And I, I pl I'm playing like the lead role or something. Like when I was the bride, I got my, I did my nails. That's You're pretty really much it. For the character. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty I'm getting, much I'm it. Getting mine done as we speak. Mine are being done on the side here. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll want to see those. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, I just want to check something from a technical standpoint, guys. Before we get started, I want to ask chat: Are you guys able to hear us and hear them? Okay, because this is. Brand new for yes, us. Yes, this is totally new and different for if us. If you guys are having problems hearing them or hearing us, um, let us know. And I don't know what I would do, but I could try to figure <laughs> something out. So. All right. Getting so. a lot of hellos. You know, I said this comment before, but I think what I'm going to do. Live stream offline. Live stream offline. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would Back be bad. On. Back on. Back on. Yeah, okay. that's going to happen because we got a two-way traffic jam here probably on this stream. So it's probably going to okay. buffer and come back. I, I don't know. All right. Well, then. But I think I'm just going to start putting Pusha Studios in the titles of all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> just, you know, just little, like, brackets because, you know. <laughs> I just said that before. Do. Put us in your tags. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I am hearing that the audio is fine. Uh, Mystic Angel said it went out, but they can hear and see us now. But John asks out there says it is great. Okay, folks. So I'm going to tell you that since we're like streaming to do doing like a two way type stream here, it may buffer and go out every once in a while. It, it's just going to happen. But since we're running OBS, it should just kick back in. Um, okay. So bear with us, and then I'll be the, checking. Yeah. I like to draw attention to our shirts that we got from our client. That. I saw that too. So Marianne's the odd man out. I am. I should go change my shirt and put my black shirt on. <sighs> we are all prepped for this injury. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, we were so we were so excited because yeah. uh, uh, we're watching your live streams. I mean, I I I just love 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 them, and mm. I was so excited to be a part of Aww. one. And congratulations on yeah. your uh interview uh live streams uh, starting and also congratulations on your super chat guys thank you. super chat thank you uh, awesome. guys in the chat thank don't Tracy forget there. the super chat there this that little <clears throat> dollar sign underneath you can press that you know don't, don't finish Sean but didn't you give don't me the money to, to say that <laughs> <laughs> the PayPal didn't go through <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. It's a, uh, we love you guys. You know that, and uh, uh, we're really excited. If I can add one part to that too, everybody in the chat, there's so many that we've been with since the beginning and known for a long time, and you guys, I like to think we were pretty much running mates right from the get go. Yes, it's really Aww. cool to have this and get to talk to you guys. I mean, yeah, it's it's just a nice. Uh, feels back like the old days for a few minutes sometimes. It does. You know? Yeah, we miss that yeah. a lot, uh, mm -hmm. honestly. So um, thank you so much. So really cool. thank Thanks you. Well, you guys are so sweet. We appreciate you guys yeah, having on and you help were, us kind of break in the, you know, the You procedure. were actually our first interview that we did with another channel. Yes. Yes. So yes. you guys brought, you got the brought us into this. The first time we went on somebody else's channel was you guys. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've That's done right. a... Should I start mentioning the name of the show, the, the place? <laughs> I got our, uh... You're allowed to say it here. Yeah, you can, you say, can that say that on this channel here. because That's this perfect. channel is used to that kind of stuff. And, and of course, we wouldn't lose connection from that. <laughs> yeah. Even the, I shocked the spirits when I said I might have believed for a second or something. They didn't know what to do. That's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> 
Uh, but I noticed you've got your Parapeep certificate on the wall and everything. Oh, yes. Wear it proud. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Anybody in the chat that still are not part of Parapeep's uh, community, please uh, send your email so you can participate in a huge giveaway. Fingers crossed I win something. Fingers crossed I win. Uh, but yes, you can also win something. You won the tickets a couple months ago. Yes, really I did. Awesome. I did uh, was... one. Uh, I participated the in one of the 1893. World's oh, yeah. Fair return tickets. And I My said, we're going to come impressed. with you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My my father-in-law was so excited, you yeah. know, a piece of history. And, yeah. and uh, that definitely is going to be something to keep for, you know, you know like a keepsake oh, for yeah. generations. Oh, yeah, That's so, not going anywhere. Yeah. Exactly. So I see that Happy, Happy Trails uh, hiking checked in. I wanted to say thank you again because she's been pushing the big giveaway, too, on her uh her live streams and i thank you very much for doing that that is that's so uh, awesome. awesome of you yeah. i really and, appreciate it and there's a question already for ksenia oh okay they want to know if you have a nickname Ooh. do i have a nickname oh that's interesting because really no my my name is so weird especially for english speaking people <laughs> um uh, that i don't think I, I never really had any Nicknames. I think with her, either they're excited to try and pronounce her name properly, <laughs> or they're excited that they can and they can't stop saying it. I think yeah. that's usually. It works I, I, I must say time. though, that what I, the most funniest one was one of our family friends uh, that uh, wanted to get acquainted with my name. She started to call me Sin, so I, I wouldn't say that I'm very characteristic to that, mm -hmm. but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, so no, I, I haven't really yeah. had too many, uh, too many of that. No, yeah. no, I'd say that's what I feel. They like to say your name. Yeah, they get they get a kick out of it. Awesome. <laughs> so, you know, we could talk about the YouTube and all that other stuff and everything. You know, like towards the end. Oh, I was I was gonna say, nah. Who wants to do that? <laughs> So, but before we get started, we want to, we want to hear your story, okay? If there's anybody in chat who's like been under a rock and hasn't <laughs> heard of Pusha Studios, <laughs> why don't you kind of tell everybody in chat like who you guys are, what you do, that kind of thing? Give us your little thirty second to a minute commercial and let people know about you guys and your channel. I love that clock rolling. <laughs> No time limit. No time limit. Husband and wife team out of Montreal. We do video and photography. Our name of our business is Pusha Studios. Xenia is originally from Latvia. I'm from Canada. We both live here now in Montreal with our kids. And we have a YouTube channel. We do all kinds of things from shout outs to interviews. Um, Tech Talk Tuesdays is coming back very soon. Yeah. Um, uh, our passion is YouTube. And we are. Uh, our goal is to explore the people behind the channels yeah. uh, and connect people behind the channels because we're more than oh, just zeros and okay. ones. Uh, we're humans behind. And that's what the main message is behind everything that we do on our YouTube channel. You, it's, you sound like you've said that before. <laughs> I was going to say, couple, he had that down. A couple hundred <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny when Xenia looked at me for the time. <laughs> so I do have to admit, like, a guilty, like, confession here. You know, you, you guys' shout-outs are awesome. I mean, you know, but I can never win that game. So now I have, like, a captured on it. You guys are, like, on here. So, you know. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I get to talk to them. Because I always, you know what I try to, you know, like when, not when people are typing in the thing, but like in between, I try to say something kind of like, I, my goal is to make Cassandra laugh. If I see a smile, I know she read something smart that I typed in in the chat. Something smart alecky. Yeah, yeah, because I know I'm not going to beat every. And I've tried Alejandro's like trick. I, I've tried all kinds of stuff. And actually, I think one night I like uh, you know bribed him to like play for me or something. But... <laughs> <laughs> but the, the main thing I tell people, the game is just a way of keeping. It's it, there's a whole. It's more of the thought of keeping people in the. Oh, did we lose them? Yeah, oh. we have we have a fun time. Like no, uh, we are on. Uh, we are on. Oh, did we drop out again? No, we're on. Oh, uh, okay. Our guests hope should be back in a soon. Oh, a back. Oh, you guys see they're us? Back. They're coming back. Oh man, I they're see everybody. Go. Yeah, yeah. Burp. Okay. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> I was good on my side, so you lost it on your side then this time. Um, there was something I was going to... Oh, somebody, I think it was in the woods with Wolfie, said it was about time you put something on that wall, Andrew. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that was him who said that. I was trying to scroll back through the chat to yeah, find it. 
Yeah, we missed that too. Yeah, we missed we our orange wall, and uh, on our season two, we are in a plan. I hated that wall when we, we painted it like seven years ago. I couldn't stand it. I was so angry. I did it out of spite. Went along with it just for how ugly it was. But once we got the pictures up, right. well, I wouldn't go that far. But I would. <laughs> And yeah. if you know what's good for you, you would too, Andrew. <laughs> I'm to hear women sticking together. This is a first here on YouTube, folks. Too, and I'm glad you're all tuned in. <laughs> Andrew, I'm just, I, I'm just waiting to go. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> with that wall and now we both miss it so uh but we're setting up some stuff for season two uh you know to, to display the 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 gifts that you guys and and some yeah. other creators have sent to us uh we definitely want to put it up on the wall so everybody can exactly is very good that. to say that we just have to make sure that the wall we're going on do we have a place for the shelf that we don't bang our heads every time because we got a narrower camera view i just want to so i don't get that thrown at me half the winter where's my stuff i don't see I don't my know. stuff i don't know uh but yes uh thank you for noticing that mm. by the way <laughs> so let's uh let's uh are you ready are you ready to share are you ready to share your story i've been since we met you i've wanted to hear your paranormal story <laughs> that's been well, a while I, you know it's it's interesting because uh, i i don't think i ever uh and i i said that at the tweet uh today when i was tweeting about the live stream i i don't think i ever really talked like publicly publicly so to say about the the stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> uh you know with my friends maybe some in, in latvia some mentioned with you here and there but i'm not really talking about too widely i don't know i think it's probably part of where i grew up uh because in uh, soviet union um which but that's what latvia was uh, uh now it's independent but it was under soviet union and um it wasn't really uh, you, you weren't really supposed to have it wasn't all these promoted things, yeah. wasn't supposed to, wasn't really generally accepted yeah no they, they weren't bur burning everybody for that but uh, <laughs> uh it, it just you know uh probably at my um, parents age if they would wild, wildly uh share some kind of experiences or sensitivities you know you might risk uh, ending up in a insane asylum or something like that because uh, it definitely was out of the normal so uh, I, I guess I'm a little shy <laughs> on that subject. <laughs> well, let me let me tell you, we have heard a lot of stories from different. Oh, you got a super chat, Sean. Sorry about that. All right, Creators Alliance. Thank, thank you, you very much. Two of the best channels in YouTube. Got to run. Much <laughs> love. Thank you, sir. Very much. Yes. Creators thank Alliance. You. Thank you. That was really generous of you, Joey. Yes, we didn't yes, have to you. do that. Thank you. So what I was saying, Cassandra, is we've done, you know, a lot of people know our channel. They know our personality. They, they know us um, you know, when we were on your interview and some of the other interviews and things that, that we've done. But we've done a lot of uh, private uh, residence and we've done a lot of like doing what we do. A lot of people contact us. Um, other channels have even contacted us and said, hey, this is going on. What do you think? Uh, and that kind of stuff. So we've heard stories from, whew, you know, from the really out there and got people help that needed help. So there's nothing that you could say. I'm going to tell you right now, you're among friends. There's nothing you could say. It's actually going <laughs> to shock us. Um, but the, the part about the paranormal research and, and things that, that we do that's the part that that I'm really interested in is is to hear from different walks of life, different people. Most of the stories are the same or have something similar to them, and um, it's quite interesting if we actually piece all of our research together. It's it's pretty much the same thing, you know, across the board. So just relax. It's okay. You're my <laughs> friends. No, I know. I just thought you were talking about this. But thank you. Thank you. And it's not not that it's really something shocking, I guess. But, um, well, I don't know where even where to start. Well, I think, uh, in part, as much as uh, uh, people in the Soviet Union was, as I said, uh, hiding most of that stuff, at the same time, they were very spiritually connected, uh, which is kind of weird because it, it's kind of on the way, like, uh, well, you know, you're not supposed to really uh, talk about it, but, and, and at the same time, church wasn't really existing, but at the same time, they were really deeply believing in the afterlife and and um, talking to, um, to spirits and, 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 and so on. So 
I think it's on the both both sides of my family and especially of my on my mom's side i will start i guess with my grandmother uh my grandmother my mom's uh, mom she uh, was a uh, healer i would say uh, they grew up uh in a um like 50 kilometers away from russian border in a very very rural deep uh out of nowhere kind of place and uh, uh she used to be the person that if somebody got sick or an, an animal a human or really you know anything was wrong that people would go to her uh for uh, either some kind of uh herb potions you know or or words or whatever it would be that she would help uh people and animals and uh, anything uh to feel better and to 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 get in health in good health so to say um my mom my mom uh you can call it a deep intuition or uh some can call it uh an ability to uh i wouldn't call it fortune telling because that kind of sounds a very um um it's it sounds too much you know but she was she was able to um predict some things happening so she was a little bit sensitive she was yeah yeah, sensitive type Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right and she also used some of uh, i guess her mother's healing powers in her hands Uh, i remember when i was small uh there were people coming to our house and she would do uh energy uh healing uh like for for pain and for headaches and things like that she also was very um spiritually connected person like uh, church candles and you know uh saying uh, not going to church per se on a, on a regular basis but in the rituals of uh clean like cleaning out the house and uh, um you know evil eye and what you should do for that and things like that so um i think what i have and i i think i pushed it in a, a way in a way away a bit is um from from both of that what my grandmother and my mother um i do see dreams a lot sometimes that do tend to come true um i um i i think it 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 matters a lot if at the time i'm okay let, let, let's start let's start from different side uh, i think um i started to have it and then i kind of let it let it let it be there and 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 you know kind of try to connect with that part of myself but then after a while i think i put kind of like that wall that uh, i don't really know what to do with it and um and and i'm not really as connected to it uh anymore so to say although I know I could pull it out again. I'm not really sure if I want to. <laughs> I guess I'm some kind of crossroads, so to say. Um, my uh, my mom had had also paranormal experience uh, with seeing actual uh, spirits or ghosts or whichever you want to call them. And uh, if you want to hear a spooky story for those of you in the chat, <laughs> Uh, one of the stories that I think shocked me as, as a child when, when uh, she was telling me, uh, we used to live in, uh, in a, I grew up in a condo apartment, it has like 16 stories, you know, lots of apartments. And uh, one of the nights, uh, my mom was telling me, uh, one of the nights she was woken up by um, a feeling that somebody was watching her. And I mean, probably most of us have experienced that, you know, through the dreams. Uh, well, when she opened her eyes, she seen a man uh, or, or a shape kind of of a man standing beside her bed. And uh, she couldn't scream or like she couldn't really say anything, but she knew she wasn't dreaming. Uh, she could see him. The man was looking at her. He didn't say anything. Uh, he just looked at her and then slowly like went out uh, towards the kitchen, um, toward the kitchen and where the window was open. Our, and uh, <laughs> our camera 
Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Sorry, so Andrew got bored. He has to play with the camera now. No, yeah. people, thanks, Andrew. No, people in the chat were telling him, giving him some pointers about his camera angle. So I'm gonna stick up for Andrew in this case. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. <laughs> no, go ahead. Continue. Uh, so uh, mom kind of was like shrugged for it, but she didn't really know why or what was going on. Uh, so when she, the next morning when she went in the elevator, you know, and the neighbors were there and, and uh, she was going to work. Uh, well, what happened is a man that lived above her uh, had uh, either fallen or jumped out of the window of the 11th floor and that night. So I guess what happened is that his spirit instead of coming back to his apartment he i call it mixed it up and 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 went to to mom's which was one below i was gonna say he he got the wrong floor <laughs> yeah so that's awesome yeah. yeah uh yeah so your 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 background is i i think i i have i've heard you guys say this you're both uh catholic you have a catholic yeah. background so that's when right. you're saying i i that i gotta understand that like with your you know your mother, grandparents, and everybody when they were doing the, you know, cleansing and that kind of stuff, how that, that does kind of go against Catholic practices a little bit, mm -hmm. why they wanted to keep that part hidden. Because I, I have something similar, like, in my family background. I mean, my great-grandmother had, you know, she was a little bit sensitive. My mom has it a little bit, too. But um, my background is more just Christian-based, and you just didn't talk about those things, especially with my grandfather. He didn't want to, you know, deal with it. But um, yeah, there's that. There's there's something happened. I think it happened like during the time of the spiritualist movement too. This would have been like the part that we research a lot. It's like the late 1800s, early 1900s, where it all became taboo. Like you really just don't talk about it. You know, you don't deal with it. And if you do, it's against religion and all this stuff like that. And uh, you know, but this has been going on for forever, you know, since the beginning of time, you know, the reports and things like that. And then one thing that you were talking about, about the dreams and stuff that you have, um, <clears throat> all of us, we really only use about 30%, if that, of our brain. All of us have the abilities to have this ability. It's just knowing how to tap into it and how to use it, or if we don't want to, how to block it. Okay, so if it seeps through from time to time through a dream or through something that you see, uh, we get a lot of reports and a lot of, you know, we call them stories and stuff, but it's reports where people tell us where, you know, like right after a passing, they'll see a loved one in their dreams for a period of time or something like that. And from a lot of stuff that we've read and people we've talked to, those could possibly be them coming back, saying goodbye or checking on things and stuff like that. Um, you know, in all of our travels, and so to speak, everywhere we've done investigations, we've really only come across, you know, one one instance where it was really, really, it was bad, you know. And it, like a lot of people think, oh, ghost upon it, you gotta stay away. No, you know, it's people, you know, they just, there's some reason why they haven't passed on or some reason why we're, they're here. Or like that gentleman that, you know, ended badly you know maybe he didn't pass in for judgment that kind of thing so um that's quite interesting the way uh, you know explain that and we've heard that mm -hmm. you know from others yeah so. i was just wondering if she recognized him or like when she found out she's like oh yeah that did look a lot like him no because she wasn't really uh like you know it's a big apartment building so okay. and apparently he moved in not so long ago so she wasn't really like in, in, familiar with him so no so she okay. wouldn't uh, know him by face uh, even when he was alive what i wanted to say is uh, like a soviet system was interesting in the way that it was no church like people were like we were catholic but it was also secret like it's kind of like all the paranormal stuff and pagan stuff i would say all the traditions that uh, like latvia is very, uh, and and russia as well but latvia especially is very based on because of the very like 9th 10th century when people started to live there mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of taboo but also church was like my parents were secretly married in the church because if somebody would get caught 
they would get arrested, right? Or Christmas never was celebrated because it was against the law. So it it was both sides of it was forbidden because the only thing you you know you should be believing is in communism. So mm-hmm. so that's why kind of both things were out of reach of talking, but at the same time both were. Um, within the the people i think in a way it was one of the last things i could grasp on to to, to live through the, the the life there you know yeah and then my grandmother's side the same way like uh, they are orthodox my my father's side uh, orthodox uh, russian orthodox and mm-hmm. and they the are? same way uh, Eastern you know. Orthodox, something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the same way they have a lot of uh, traditions that she would keep up, like the, as well. But she w- would also have a deep sense of intuition, and uh, like especially with uh, like um, evil eye and things that you, you you have to do if you feel like somebody is looking at you and things like that. That she would tell me, you know, how to protect yourself. So it, it I, I think it just was a common thing within the people that were living at at, at the time because both of the things were forbidden of practicing, you know. Did you did you uh, like where you were, you know, where you lived? Did you have like interesting like traditions and and stuff like that 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 your you know grandparents would say? You know things like you know if you pass a goat on the way to your wedding, you know you have good luck. You know stuff like that. Did you have like any of those interesting things growing up? Uh, yeah, and, and I guess it, it's hard to say it out of the blue like that. I do bore Andrew with them all the time. Like, my <laughs> same as expressions with hedgehogs. And uh, for those uh, who come to our live streams, especially the interview ones, I all the time come up with some kind of expressions that all are basically based in these traditions, you know. Um, but, uh, well, you know, like rain on the wedding day, that's the, uh, I think is, is very common here too, that it's for a good luck. Uh, you shouldn't go under the ladder because it's for a bad luck. Um, um, I don't know. What else? I can't remember. Those right are a lot of the sim- um, it, it is. It's one of those things that's hard until she comes out with. Yeah, it's I, hard to know, like, to yeah. come up with it like this, you know, <laughs> yeah, unless the situation com- comes handy, so to say. Um, like even with the, that's what the whole thing with expressions. When I joke about it, we're joking on camera. It's not just expressions. It is also these like. Uh, superstitions and stuff like that can be that's really the word i was looking for superstitions yeah. a lot yeah. a lot yeah. for example uh, my um my grandmother from father's side whenever we would go somewhere for a longer trip which would the longer mean like more than half an hour okay uh for a longer trip we would all sit down for like 30 seconds in complete silence so everybody would be ready ready okay we're ready to go and then right before you get out of the door you would just sit down <laughs> That's awesome. Now we can go. <laughs> and it's kind of like uh, sending like a positive energy towards the the, the road, you know, uh, uh, like kind of wishing for a peaceful and, and, and good way. And, and that's what we would do. <laughs> now, see, we would always bless the car. We'd yeah. always throw yeah. holy water on the car we and the still sign do, of a cross. Actually, when we take a long yeah. road trip, we bless the car with with holy water. Yeah, we still do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, and, and see, this is interesting part of Orthodox, for example, because um, there's this huge Orthodox church in the middle of Riga. And uh, oftentimes, when I was go- would go to university, you know, passing by, I would see these huge BMWs and uh, like you know, huge businessmen coming with their car to the church, and the priest, Orthodox priest, would come out and bless their new car, and <laughs> they would drive away. <laughs> you know, so weird because it's in vague. You know, it's vague. You you are not supposed to have anything, but the same. Right. And you know, also I wanted to say, <laughs> you haven't covered everything yet. <laughs> but it's very different. For example, the Orthodox Church and Catholic Church, uh, comparing to what it's here, which very uh, surprised me and and shocked me in a way when I came here because. See, over here, Catholic Church is very uh, simple, uh, very poor. It's usually uh, a wooden church with, uh, like, you know, a a very little decoration inside. It's very, very plain, right? But Orthodox one would be the one at gold and huge cathedrals and so on. Here, it's kind of the other way around. Like, all the big cathedrals in each village that are here are mainly Catholic, which 
first really surprised but that's me. more common on the east coast of canada and down of course towards yeah. boston and those places heavily well see popular. here here in youngstown we're byzantine i met marianne and i are byzantine catholic oh. which is based on the eastern orthodox and then we also have what what they call here roman catholic mm -hmm. which is um they're, they're kind of like the opposite of what you're saying like our church is all the gold decorations and you know the golden stuff around the saints and things like that and uh you know i <laughs> i don't know if i told this story when we were on with you guys but i was always grew up like non-denominational or methodist or something like that and my mm -hmm. mother had the belief that she wanted my sister and i to find our own religion and take our own path so i was actually baptized at the age of 30 in the in a christian church hmm. so when marianne and i got together we decided you know i decided i wanted to convert to byzantine catholic her religion because the church is literally right down the street if we're going to church that's where we're going to go and i wanted to take communion well the, the you know nobody converts to catholic anymore <laughs> You know, no. so I had to go. Buy, yeah. Yeah. I had to go buy a dummies book, <laughs> dummies for or Catholics for dummies. Catholicism you know, for dummies. And, yep. and my, you know, the, the it rituals exists. that they do you have go that through, book. You know, they no. ex yes, yeah. they do. Oh, yeah, I have I it, it in the yeah. other room. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh my god. So Marianne's mom's my uh, my godmother, uh -huh. and my best man in my wedding's my godfather, <laughs> and like right before mass, I they accepted my. Uh, uh, oh. baptism my christian baptism so i went through the rites that you have to go through to convert like right before mass it's like bum, 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 done you know but here's the thing our wedding okay we got married <laughs> we we share the same anniversary yes okay? Escucha Studios. we got married july yep. 1st and you guys know how hot it is on july 1st okay mm -hmm. all right so here i am and i i'm a big man at the time i was a little bit bigger okay i'm wearing a black tux right and our church's air conditioner went out on, on, oh, no. on, yes. Now, I don't know if you've ever witnessed a Byzantine Catholic wedding, <laughs> but if you have one priest, everything's done three times. Okay, everything, all right? We had two priests, so everything was done six times. So we are really, really <laughs> married. And that wedding went on for like ever. I think I lost probably 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we got married with two priests because two my priests. Pri my priest wanted, obviously, it was his church. He was going to do the ceremony. But my cousin is a priest, and I wanted my cousin oh. to marry us. So sometimes yeah. when I say it, I kind of say it wrong, and then I have to explain it because I'm like, yeah, my cousin married me, you know? Yeah, that's a little... <laughs> and then I'm like, Sean's your cousin? I'm yeah. like, no, no. Oh, like... <laughs> So I still have the basis in in like the Christian beliefs, and actually I've so I've told you guys I actually I am a Christian minister, but uh, we we do practice mm -hmm. Byzantine Catholic. You know, it's all it's all, you know, to me, okay, to me, if you if you if you believe in a higher power and you do kind unto others, yep, that's all what it is, oh, you fine. know. So, yeah, but my great grandmother, she was very like, she we used to say she had the gift. You know, she was very religious and very, um, just, just, she was an angel. You know what I mean? Like she, on earth, she was just very kind, very sweet and never went to church, you know? So it's just, it's just the kindness in people too. So, but, uh, all right. Um, did you, so did you Andrew have any questions in chat? Not really. Oh, Andrew's here and to make does, the camera look pretty. Does Andrew have any of these superstitions or, or traditions yeah, that he'd like to share? You were making fun of Ksenia because she had some. Uh, do you have any? That's my tradition, making fun of them. That's, that's the, there you, you go. want to know why I don't talk about them anymore? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, we've well, been ignoring... Uh, do you have some that you want to share or just that one? That's just your number one chair. You know, make fun of your wife. Hey, we no, talked no. about the claws, man. I'm telling no. you. <laughs> I don't know for tradition or for, uh, for superstitions and love. I, mean, I don't know about superstitions, but I think you have had uh, like that feeling. No, I don't want to. I don't, and then I, and like we joke around and I, I want to believe in all that. I just always put something. There's a reason to everything. And it's just my way of thinking. And I even get mad at myself sometimes for doing it. Because I think sometimes if you let yourself go in the moment, maybe you would uh, 
even if it doesn't exist, nobody freak out me in the chat. If that's the possibility, well, at least I think within yourself, it gives you kind of that push that you need at that moment. And, you know, that's just my, so I don't think it's making fun of or anything like that. It's more, more out of jealousy that you can't feel that same way about something. Because I do believe it gives comfort to people. You know, like uh, I almost died one time. I had uh, a peanut allergy attack and I, they, I never had one in my life, didn't know it, ate it my whole life. And I got rushed to the hospital. And the next thing you know, I went in, my lips were swollen, my throat closed. I was strapped to a gurney because I was kicking all over the place. And I get what people are talking about another body experience because I would say I had one. To me, it's that's just my way of looking at it. I'm like, okay, yes, because in the panic and knowing, and it was serious. This is not like I was literally like minute from going mm -hmm. and they couldn't get anything in my uh, veins to give me the adrenaline because they all collapsed pretty much. I, I can understand even if I don't believe them on for me, I get it because it's a comforting thought to kind of distance yourself from it, see your surroundings the way that you're able to at the time. With that said, wouldn't it be a lot more nicer of a feeling to think that you're, if something bad's going to happen, that you're going somewhere comfortably, or isn't it an amazing feeling to think that if, uh, something bad's going to happen, at least something's out there reaching you to keep you from the pain. So I am kind of torn in that part. It's not, I know we joke around a lot and poor Zane is going to listen to all my rhetoric, but in the end, I do think even if you don't believe, I wish sometimes I did, because I think it would make me feel maybe more comfortable in certain areas. Mm -hmm. There's a comfort to it, I guess the long story is short. Okay. I don't know if that makes a bit of I sense. I agree that no, it does. Comfort. No, absolutely. Yeah. Some things still can't be explained. There mm -hmm. is some things that, yes, you know, we are, and I'm, I mean, I'm a psychologist by, by education, so I, I, I really I know how the brain works, you know, and, and how we tend to, to uh, calm Not ourselves, sure, yeah. yeah, so to say. But um, there are some things that neurologically are not possible to explain. Um, and, and then that's where the question rises that mm. uh, there might be something else besides our brains playing but on the that. side of that and not to be on once again the unpopular one i feel like i'm like the odd man out on all of this so i'm just going carefully thank god for mary on here <laughs> so I, don't I can't wash her out of my books because she's all i got <laughs> i won't I let you flounder too badly there thank you. <laughs> too badly. yeah that's it see a little bit of quick one you said sean said welcome but we only use 30 percent of our brain my rational way of always looking at it is these times that these things happen is usually the brain is tapped into some part of that other 70 percent doesn't know how to uh right, mm -hmm. process right. It. doesn't know how but to I, deal with it yeah i agree yeah. 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 but maybe yeah. the rest of the 70 percent is supposed to uh i don't know see a parallel dimensions or whatever whatever put in a dash whatever is there mm -hmm. you know and then that way we connect with it when we tap into these extra resources you know yeah. we never yeah. know yeah so there's a question in the chat. They want to know what, I don't know if it's you guys or us, but you guys uh, <laughs> think of people who say they can contact the dead. They're annoyed that they're never really clear uh, in what they say and what they say is vague uh, and usually is what people want to hear. So who I asked really, that, Karen So Summers? Karen Summers, okay. yes. Uh, I do. I and I don't want to insult anybody, okay? So, but my personally, I think that I think that you can connect with those who are close to you yourself. Uh, I don't think that people are able to connect on a request to somebody that is in the audience mm -hmm. uh, related to somebody. I, I really don't. I think that there has to be a connection of energy of some type in order to be able to do that. Remember before internet was big and we used to get this thing called newspapers with job postings and you have those psychic hotlines and how they put their ads and all uh -huh. of them was, are you feeling psychic today? Give us a call. That was their ad placement <laughs> mm -hmm. for a job. It's, it's, <laughs> I believe people have a, I, I believe the people that are really good at it are the people that are very good at understanding people, which is a great quality, but unfortunately it's a great place to manipulate people. Mm -hmm. You play on the most vulnerable side. Let's face it. It's usually somebody, if they're going to do it, it's because they're still not over the pain of losing somebody. Of course. It's right. not because they got nothing better to do. It's not an alarm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise. So I, I just think it's such an easy place to manipulate people. And that's the sad part of it. Like not even joking. Like, Especially when it involves money, which it shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, like Never. if somebody is really Never. looking at your yeah. health, that's it right. shouldn't involve money. That's right. That, we that's get people who contact us. Okay. Yeah. Now, people who are having issues, all right. Yeah. 
whether they're in paranormal in nature, whether they're mental in nature, whether they're whatever, they're having issues, we try to seek them help. And I try to find paranormal groups I call them reputable paranormal groups, and I will interview those groups before I refer them and ask, do you charge? You know, are you charging yes. for any of this? And, well, we take donations. I'm like, well, that's charging. Why do you take a donation yes. or whatever? Yeah. If you it is a group that is going out there to help because mm -hmm. it's something they want to do, I will refer them. And that's one yep. thing that I love about PSPR, and there's some several other groups too. They're doing it mm -hmm. to help. They're not doing it for yeah. a living. They're not doing it because it's all based on research and theory and stuff because we don't know. I don't care whoever says, yes, this is how it is. We're not 100% sure. No, the term 100%. paranormal means it cannot be scientifically proven is what yeah. the word paranormal means. Now, there are sensitives. I agree with them. I've spoken with a lot of them. There's people in chat that saying that I can you know, do this and I could contact people. That's awesome, and that's that whole thing of having that ability and that training on how to do that but the charging of it especially uh -huh. when people in need no i agree with yeah. you on that that's like the socket you know the one like what you're talking about the one in 900 number you know yeah you know that's right i don't know well, if like you really want to help somebody great you know that's yeah. why I love when I met you guys, because I finally got a title for what I fit into, because I was tired of saying non-believer. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I really want to honestly have something put me in my place and say, that you, there you go. So it, I, even if it didn't wasn't necessarily the person believes they're doing what they're doing is contact, and in the end it was proven it wasn't, and they weren't charging money, so what? At least you gave people some comfort. That's yeah. Then it's an awesome gift, whether no matter where it came from. Mm -hmm. To give somebody peace in such a hard time, I think, is one of the greatest gifts you can give to humanity. Mm -hmm. And if it is true, well, that's an awesome thing because you've got to do, make somebody's connection that they were desperately hoping for. But when the money comes in, it just taints the whole thing, in my opinion. I find the ones that are on TV can compare to car salesmen. You know, they, they kind of, yeah. they're tapping into you and, and, and checking here, here, here. Okay, we, we know five points about you. Uh, and, and then putting it together, well, something fits, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, when they do ask questions, you know, did have did somebody die from cancer? Well, who doesn't have it? Yeah, somebody died well, from right. cancer, you know, well, like right. things like that. And, and that's why I, I, I say that. I do believe though, that people can connect with themselves, with their own, like with relatives and stuff, because there is that energy connection, but it's different, uh, you know, than, than than telling people that okay, well, I want to connect with my third cousin from my second stepson, you know, or something, and they right away like. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I just want to clarify because I don't want to tick a, bit, a bunch of people off that's that's no, in no, our chair. No, no, exactly. But I, I just want to clarify my statement that I made, okay? Because we've been accused, Marianne and I have been accused of charging people to go out for paranormal stuff, okay? Now I consider there's two separate things. We've done a lot of. Um, like paranormal conferences, psychic fairs, that kind of stuff. And those psychics that charge $20, whatever, to come in and have a reading, that that is their life, okay? So that's one thing. They are, they are traveling, they're buying hotel rooms, they're setting that thing up. And those people go above and beyond. That's what they do. They do so much to help people. That's one thing, okay? Now, we were putting on ghost tours and bringing people out we got fed them gave them t-shirts rented the place that kind of stuff and that's why we were charging a fee to cover those costs that's that's a form of entertainment okay but if you're in a session and i'm going to warn everybody is in here if you're in a session and that psychic or whatever says you know i think i could find out more if you give me x amount of dollars that's pushing yes. too yes, far. Yes. Exactly. In the same way with the paranormal group, and I don't know if I'm going to tick you off, but I really don't even believe in this. If they come out and investigate and they said, hey, for X amount of dollars, we can get rid of it for you, that's going over the edge. That's not reputable. Yep. You, you see what I'm getting at? Does that make yep. sense? I mean, there is, there's, a, there's a fine line between that, and it. Yep. somebody might not understand that a little bit, but there are a lot of... Uh, paranormal psychics and mediums that that's what their life livelihood is but they also sell books and they yeah. sell other things and you know they sell crystals they do you know they're selling consulting type stuff you know so it's all i just wanted to clarify that case i got somebody put a hex on me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
very well said, and you're so right. Exactly, exactly. That's what you're talking about. And that about. other side of, it, I mean, that's the same. Then it's a business, and it's the same yeah. as any other business. Yeah. You'll have lawyers who promise to do stuff. A mechanic, they'll fix your car if you give them. Right, you know, right. That's, that's, then that's a business thing going. I on. think of that. I think of that scene in in uh, National Lampoon's Vacation where he drove over to that thing and he goes to get the car fixed and he says, <laughs> "How how much is it?" He's like, well, "How, how much, much you got?" You, got? <laughs> you know that kind of. That's a, that's that's not reputable. You know what no. I mean. So. It is. It's, it's once again up somebody's most vulnerable spot and taking full advantage of it. Right, right, we right. That's just how the wallet's empty. Right. We go out and we do these fairs and do these shows and stuff to spread the word about, you know, panic. Well, now panic D videos and 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 panic D dot com and our books and stuff like that. And uh, you know, it's a business. It is what it is. We've. I have a bad habit of taking hobbies and making them a business. I, I'm guilty. <laughs> Yes, he uh, does. <laughs> I've done it several times, but um, you know, there's costs involved. So of course, no, definitely, no. <clears throat> of course, of course, that it, it, and it's two different things, completely different yeah. things. You know, it's not taking advantage of of, of people as as uh, Angel was uh, say, Mystic Angel was saying exactly. You know, it's 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 different. Yeah. 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 Now, for me. I, I have trust issues. Oh. <laughs> so for me, this is I, what I deal with folks. <laughs> I, I agree completely that there are people out there who have abilities to talk to other in, entities that are not in our realm and things like that. Um, I have trust issues and I, I, I can't, I just don't believe any of them when they're, you know, talking about a location or whatever. That's why I've never been really good with dealing with psychics yeah, because she, she I don't. have so many trust issues <laughs> that they, I just can't. No. How can you how can you really know that about this location or whatever? Mm -hmm. How do you get that feeling? And like you said, Ksenia, it's like you don't know any of these people. How do you how do you have a connection with with these people yeah. um, and, and the building? You know, how do you have yeah. a connection with a building? You know, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I do believe that there are people out there who do have the ability to do these things. Well, we've but I think most several. of us that have yeah. is trust issues, like most of us that want to believe category. Mm -hmm. It really comes down to trust issues. I, I would be the first to say it myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. For example, like buildings you mentioned, that I would categorize a bit differently, though. Again, because it's uh, like I do think that places uh, contain a lot of energy, depending on who lived there or what happened there. So when when people go away, that energy still stays, right, in, mm -hmm. in the building. So uh, if they are able, if they are sensitive uh, to that energy, then they are able maybe. To feel that something has gone wrong there or, or mm -hmm. good there, you know, like things like that because of the energy that is inside uh, the house. And that part you could probably explain with signs because of magnetic fields and particles that come together. Well, also the mind, too. I mean, when you look at a house that you know somebody's died or something or is gone, like right away you have the odd picture there. Things look more empty. They feel more, you focus more on specific items than when it's a home, you tend to look at the whole place. I find that like when my cousin died and left me the house when I walked in, I've been in there a hundred times. But walking in after he died, then I noticed the one picture alone on the wall. I picture the little, you know, you're more aware of your surroundings, I think. And then mm -hmm. that also adds to that feeling mm -hmm. of some sort. Mm -hmm. But interesting, mm -hmm. for example, you would think like out of all of the, and it's interesting because I always remember my mom saying, uh, out of all places, you would think that the graveyard would be the place where sensitive people would feel the most because, well, so many people are buried. Not right? in Latvia. You have a party around it, for God's sake. Oh, we'll get to that after. But my mom always said that she felt the most peaceful, uh, mm. like, in the... Uh, at ease. Yeah. yeah, at ease when visiting graveyard uh, because those people are not there. Yeah. Anymore. Well, there's several theories about cemeteries and graveyards, okay? And I'm going to tell you a couple of them. Because we've been to some that have been extremely active. We've been to others that's just peaceful and quiet. Now, okay, so number one, why would you want to hang around a place where, where your remains are, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the theories is, and this, base is, this is based way back on Native American, and we even found some Christian religion way in the back, is if a body is buried with missing parts okay mm -hmm. that they believe that you can't cross over into the kingdom of god unless you're whole so they go looking for 
the rest of their body. That's theory number one. Another thing, too, is a cemetery normally, in most cases, about 95% of the time, it's hollow ground, meaning it's been blessed by clergy or somebody to bless the, you know, the remains and that kind of stuff. And then over time, all of the, uh, you know, the rituals of the burial, you know, the additional interments and that kind of stuff that blesses that hollow ground. However, you have people that want to go and destroy that and do things like opening up, you know, sessions and, and not closing them and do that damages that. In order to fix that, it has to come back. Somebody has to come back and bless the area and that type again. So that could stimulate some activity. You know, there's several things that could happen in any area, not just cemeteries. You know, it's just that's a place where the remains are. But it could happen anywhere based on certain things taking place that people don't know what they're doing. You, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. But, you know, in most cases, it is a peaceful place because it has been, you know, a hollowed ground set aside. But th- we've got several reports and things that we found of, and it's it's only things like hear whispers, you get the sense that somebody's watching you, and it's like the same thing, you know, uh, strange balls of light at night, you know. We've mm-hmm. caught, our first EVP we ever caught was at a cemetery, but here's the thing about that cemetery. Most of the, the, the people buried in that cemetery were Native Americans forced, forced to convert to Catholic. Okay, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That just doesn't jive. So there's some, you know, weird stuff going on there. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. And and you have that. All over the world you have things like that. Mm -hmm. So it it, it just depends on the location. So I I, I didn't mean to to go off, but, you know, just based on the stuff that we've reached. I agree. I agree, definitely. You got some stuff in chat? Well, I I was, and then I lost my internet connection because I'm on a different one than you. Um, I know, folks. I'm sorry. (laughs) Our internet's horrible. But um, Mystic Angel, she was saying that, you know, she can go into a location and she can feel energy a a lot of times. And she can kind of decide or think she knows what happened there. She said, but sometimes I'm wrong. And I just love the fact that somebody's willing to say that, especially somebody who does have those, those abilities. Because so many times, you know, they won't admit. They're like, no, no, this definitely happened here. So I appreciate um, what she's saying. I got in an argument one time with a with a uh, a medium. I think it was at a fair, <laughs> and uh, we Pretty we knew sure all the historical background of this place. I mean, down everything through interviews and, and books and all this stuff. And I was talking to the medium. And I was asking her questions. She's like, "Nope, that's not true. Nope, that's not true. Nope, I sense this. Nope, I sense that." And I, I ticked her off, and she kind of walked away from me. But I said, "Are you sure this is not attached to you that you brought them with you?" I mean, isn't that a possibility? And you know, she's like, "Oh yeah, I guess." And then she walked away. You know, mm-hmm. so it, it, I, I wish I had that ability to like tap into that and sense what's going on. But I don't, and I know I don't, and you know, so that's why we kind of like learn how to use the equipment a little bit better right. to kind of. Yeah, and I wish I and I wish I did so that I could say, yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> this this is the way it works. Yeah, but there is there's a place here in Ohio, actually, where we live. It's not that far from here. That is a theater, and a paranormal group was there uh, for years, at least five or six years. Mm-hmm. They ran the place. Uh, for other groups to come in so they they had the uh, the comfort of after hours they could go and want and whenever they want so through sessions and and uh you know evp sessions what i'm talking about and bringing in mediums and um research and all this other stuff they pieced together an entire history of of this theater and it is just amazing because they went and they found actual document in history to prove everything that they were picking up on so that is like really cool so that was that was kind of one of the things that set us on the path that we're on so did the internet drop out on me while i was going off on my run uh, i don't think so all right you got any more in chat uh so budget bushcraft says that they they need to send us some pictures that they took in a cemetery once says you'd think andrew was standing next to me smoking it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't visible to the naked eye 
Send them over. So I said, yeah, it's definitely. Tweet them over to us or email them to them. So that's, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So does anybody have in chat have any questions for our guest here? So, Ksenia, do you have any additional uh, experiences that you'd like to share with us? Well, like I said, my personal experience is more uh, like into the sensitivity part of it than uh, than par I, don't, I don't know, like distinguished paranormal is with spirits and, and fortune telling uh, of the sensitivity. But uh, mine, I think, is more with with uh, with dreams and things that I see in them. Um, they are not it is not like I'm translating something and then it comes uh, true. It, you know, things happen in my dream and then they exactly like that happen in reality. It doesn't happen all the time, but as I said, I tend to block it sometimes on purpose when it gets too much uh, because I really, I, I think I don't have the skills to manage it properly. And, and at some point in my life, it started to bother me too much because it was uh, too often of a, a cure, occurrence. Yeah, occurrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. occurrence. <clears throat> That's so a, kinda... Hey, don't feel bad. That's a hard word. I screwed that oh, one up. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say turtle in Latvian. That's a hard word. <sighs> yeah. That's our running. What is back. what is it? Brunio rupitus. Brunio rupitus. Brunio. Brunio. Rupitus. Rupitus. And I remember that because I said I'll never learn this word ever when I was trying to learn Latvian. It's the only word I remember now, I think. so. See, I'm going to go back and, and review this when we're done over and over again because I do that big turtle project at my school with my kids. So I can have a new oh. word for them on Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll send you the transcription of that. <laughs> That'd be great. Sorry, oh. See what happens when I start talking seriously about my experience? He just turns it all into jokes, so it's all good. No, I was good for the first forty minutes, and never so. That that's okay, Cassandra. I'm going to edit this and just be you uh, the whole have video. Have you guys so. ever sensed any paranormal stuff and photographing? Uh oh, oh no! You guys still with us? Oh, sorry. Are you still with us? Yeah, yep. we're here. Yep. This internet okay, it's tonight. back. Okay, it's it'll back. come back. It's back. Okay. See what happens? The spirits are fiddling with you, Andrew, because you're not letting me talk. <laughs> All right. So you oh, said God. that you had more experiences, like they started to build up and have more and more occurrences, and then you kind of pushed it away. Did you have a what specific time period of your life was that? Was there a certain age bracket where it was like the most intense? I think it started probably when I was there, uh, like I would probably maybe because I was more conscious about it was when I was in early teenage years and, and then kind of was gradually increasing. And, um, you know, I was talking with my mom about that because she had that a lot. Uh, so I could discuss it with her. Uh, and then I, I guess, I guess around late teen early 20s i had a, a lot of it and then i kind of like not blocked it but kind of i i talked with my mom about it and kind of you know either you can try to get even more into uh into in touch with what is going on and try to be uh develop because i i believe that being as sensitive is the same as any other skill or talent or knowledge you have to work on it and develop it if you want it to go somewhere so i think at that point it was either i would get deeper into that and try and understand how to manipulate it in order to work with it or just to kind of step away from it and i and i think i stepped away from it at that time i still sometimes think that maybe i shouldn't really <laughs> uh, push away that part of me but um, I don't know. Uh, there are some, I, I guess, maybe because most of the time the things that do come in dreams that uh, that do come uh, true are not really the positive experiences most of the time. Maybe because we tend to remember them more. But uh, maybe that, you know, my my father passed away when I was sixteen, and uh, Wait, uh, yeah, murdered. Well, he was murdered. Yeah, and. Um, I think after that, I uh, like I had these uh, sense sensibilities before that, but 
after that happened and, and I had a very hard time dealing with with that happening uh, for for a good time and I think it was just too much um, to be able um, to to see some things beforehand and and not being able to yeah. change them mm-hmm. because uh, there there you, there was things that I would see and as I said it wasn't my interpretation they actually happened the same way as they were in the dream but I I wouldn't be able to to change them because it's not really, you know. So the question, what appeared for me, what I remember talking with my mom is then why, why am I seeing these things if I'm not really able to change them, right? Like, mm-hmm. what is the whole purpose of, of being able to see something beforehand if it doesn't really help anything? You know, me mm-hmm. telling, first of all, me telling somebody uh, that you know what this is going to happen, and I don't know, like for sure, right? So they're either going to think that I'm <laughs> a oh. bit a bit crazy uh, or not just or not believe you know right mm-hmm. uh, or f- if it is something that happens with me or my family members well I can't really influence that really uh, so I think unless I find the answer to this question in my head I, I'm not really there to get back into getting in touch with that so I don't know if anybody else in the, in the chat, I see there's some people that are in the sensitive side as well have found the answer to this question. Uh, no, it's not a dream interpreter. I'm not, as I said, like I do dream, but the things that do happen, they are one-to-one as they happen. It's nothing that, it's not like a symbol reading or anything. They are exactly- So you're actually happen. seeing a vision- yeah. Yes, yeah. Of it, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Abacus says that you're forewarned to yeah. prepare you for the shock. Mm-hmm. So it's so it's more so it's for you. So it's more for her right. to be ready that's for what, what to be happening. That's what that they're kind saying. of makes sense, yeah. maybe a little. It bit. does make sense, but uh, what what in the cases <clears throat> with other people? Like if it's something going on with other people's life, then for me it wouldn't really right. It wouldn't have an impact right. to me. Right. Then why you know? Mm-hmm. Right. I understand. Yes, I agree uh, yeah. that it does. It does. Uh, if it's some, something going on with myself, but uh, it's with other people that I don't really know how how to use it, or you know. Yeah. Well, that would be. I, I agree with you. That would be a, a tough situation to be in, especially when you, you know call them on the phone and say, "Hey, you know, I s- this," and they don't <laughs> believe you, and then, you know, yeah, I can see that. Happened? I'm sure there are some people in the chat too that say that she's just crazy. And, yeah. and that, well, and, you but know, our our people not, are nice enough not, not to say those kind of things. This you know, community is is you know most they of these understand people what are into saying, this though. You know, yeah. Um, you know, I did have one question though I wanted to ask you with your with your educational background and and the courses and stuff that you take with that. Was there like any classes or anything that like mentioned any of this type of stuff like? at all like where they brought that kind of stuff up and and covered that because i would be interested you have a degree too in in school counseling Uh, that's the same question for you did did they mention like any of that stuff like with people's thought stocks and or anything well one of one of the explanations to some of these things uh, as far as they were talking in the classes in the in the neuropsychology and anatomy uh is in the way that uh electrical impulses are passed through uh, our brain and um, it it is an anomaly of the way it is passing through for the people that tend to have these sensitivities or visions or, or things like that the, uh, it's what they were saying it is connected with uh, electrical impulses that come in a different path is than for uh, average person so to say uh, but other than that um, other than that no no what about you for school counseling no um they really mainly focus on school counseling on how to have students deal with home life issues and things like that they don't really as school counselors focus on any for what i would say real psychological issues they the school counselor would pass those on to a psychologist. So for school counseling, no, none of ours dealt with that at all. Okay, do we have any more questions in chat? I haven't noticed any more questions. Um, I have a lot of comments. Oh, you did? I missed it? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, 
question from Artie Morbid about photography uh, on location, mm. if you have captured anything uh, on photography. Us or you? Or both? Let me go Let's answer go it. You guys go first. Well, no, I don't. I don't think like in some older photography, maybe there used to be some things, you know, like a sh uh, smoke, smoke stuff. And but I always tend to say that it's just a faulty film or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> but with all your photography now, you don't you don't get anything. No. All right. So I'll answer the question with our method of photography, okay? Because um, before when we were building the channel, we would put out videos that were pictures from locations that we've gone to and uh, what we're going to do now we're still going to do that so that we have a documented copy of those but we're going to just make them available in our patreon if people want to see them that kind of thing um, so like the lizzie borden house for example when we go out um, one of us is either like doing the recordings um, or something like that and the other one has a camera and uh, that is a, a device that we do use for our research and our investigation. And what we do is we take uh, three to five pictures at the same location uh, as fast as the flash will recharge. Okay. And uh, that's why a lot of times we'll have photographs from a location. We might have, you know, five, six hundred, seven hundred pictures because we have three to five of that same shot from that same location. Because what we're looking for is, like you said, Andrew, those anomalies. Is it bouncing off? Is it reflection off of water? Reflection off a window? Is it, is it something that the, the you know, the flash of the lens and all that stuff? But what we look for when we review those pictures is where we could see movement of things, you know, because mm -hmm. we stand in the same spot taking that shot repeatedly. So if you see a movement of a mist or see a movement of a shadow or see something where you haven't moved yourself, then we say, and we never say, boom, here we caught it. We say, this is potential evidence. You see, that's where you guys are. I've actually considered myself pretty lucky to get to know paranormal channels here. For the most part, I found most of them so on the broader scale of it could be or it couldn't be because on the other side of it you always get the people who just brush off everything as and then i probably fall in that category but also too it happens on the other side where some they can't leave the house without seeing something paranormal everything is without a doubt done seen it done that's it it is oh my god you know and that's just as bad as and my side i'll be the first to say it's somebody who's I, I still don't want to say i'm closed off there's some who just won't accept it or don't want to believe it at all mm -hmm. It, it's you guys that I like that run the numbers and this possibly and this is showing some <laughs> signs of and that that's what I think makes it very interesting and people who are kind of on the fence I think people what you guys do is help guide them maybe a little closer to that not mm -hmm. purposely but they feel more accepting to the ideas if it's not like told them it's either yes or no all the time because it is very gray it's probably the most gray area well it's all gray and and yeah. here i'm going to probably we're going to tick people off again in the chat and i apologize <laughs> if i do oh, but this is start. all this is all research i mean i am telling you it would take years and and the people that have been in the fields the warrens the you know taps and all of them you know taps when they first started out and you know uh <laughs> those that have been out there researching and people we've met on radio shows and, and things like that, that are out there. Uh, and, and I know PSPR, he was here. I think he's still here. The way they do it is they're going out and it takes going back to places repeatedly over and over and over or looking at whether other people are collecting and, and putting that all together before mm -hmm. you even get to the point where you go, Hmm, maybe something is going on here. You know, yeah. you can't say 100% no. something is happening because we don't know. We just don't know. But when you get the same repeated occurrences and other people that don't know and they go in and get the same thing and you piece that whole research pie together, that makes for a very interesting video. <laughs> you know, and, but I must say, very interesting lives, and and, and mm -hmm. I always refer to your live streams as an investigational yeah. <laughs> paranormal because that's what draws me to them is you know pulling apart the the crime scene, so to say, together with the paranormal stuff, and 
and I get so excited. <laughs> I'm yeah. researching here at the same time as you are guys talking, you know, it's kind of like the murder she wrote, but on the live stream. And I just love that. And that's what draws me to your life. That's what started, like, I was so hooked on them. And I think oh. T when she started coming, it was the same thing. It's just like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's try to find something more about it. I, I'm going to tell you guys something, you know, because we're very close friends. Okay, but we got 31 people in the chat here. We're probably going to have a, a ton of people that's going to come back and see us. I'm going to tell you the secret about our channel. Okay, all of that, everybody who's come in and liked our videos and our live streams and commented on stuff and said, wow, this is like what they're doing. Guess what? We taught you guys a lesson. We're teachers. That's right. We've taught you history. We've opened your mind into paranormal research. We made you go, hmm. Mm hmm. Right? Offered your theories, offered your comments. Here's what I heard. Here's what the, this and this, that. That's what our channel's about is to stimulate your mind, not chase a cell phone around, but to stim <laughs> stimulate a mind and go, huh, this is kind of interesting. That's well, right. That's, and it's that's, so different. That's exactly. the purpose of what we want to do. Plus, the that's fact we're documenting our, our travels because, quite seriously, and I've said this several times, I'm starting to forget stuff, and that's just age. You know, I go back and I look over these pictures. And like I said to Mary the other night, I you was did. looking at pictures. I'm did. like, you when did. did I sit in a gas chamber? And she goes, yeah, when we went to blah, 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 you were in a gas chamber. I'm like, I completely forgot about that, but I have a picture of it, you know. So that's, I, where was that at? We were we were on a trip uh, in and we were going to a, a police museum. Yeah, a police museum. I'm sitting in this gas chamber going, you know, she took my picture, you know. <laughs> So stuff like that. That's why I wanted to go through and do our channel and get a document because I don't, you know, we don't have kids, but we have nieces and nephews. So maybe they might want to know what crazy so cool. Aunt, Aunt Mary and Uncle, and Uncle Sean did, did for their, their <laughs> lives and they could go back and see our travels. So, <laughs> All right. So we have a, a question and, uh, and a comment that I want to kind of tie together. Uh, actually, two comments and a question well, that I'm going to tie together. I don't that. remember because it was a long time ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know that Tracy is the question because it's kind of mm -hmm. right here. But the I know uh, Lawrence is one of them, uh, and I think it was Mystic Angel was the other. Because um, I think it was Mystic Angel said uh, that she has seen her past lives. Uh, and mm. Lawrence said that he has seen entire lifetimes of an, an individual in his dreams uh and then we have the question from tracy wanting to know what we think about past lives um and she wanted to know that from both of us um so reincarnation what's our theories on that and i kind of think that maybe sometimes when these people um, have these visions where they see an entire lifetime or they have a very detailed life of something that seemed like it was a long time ago that maybe that might be someone who has been reincarnated i don't you know i mean it would explain for me it would explain why they have such detailed memories of these things but uh well I don't my, know. my theory about reincarnation is is you know, number one, God put us down here on the earth to prove ourselves, basically. He never said it was going to be easy, you know. Yeah. So he put us down here to learn how to prove ourselves, uh, uh, you know, while we're on earth with fellow mankind. And I, I believe that if, if we go up for judgment and we're kind of like there but not quite there yet, reincarnation. Go back, try again. That's just my opinion, and I'll probably get all kinds of people going, oh, no, you're wrong. That's just the way I interpret it so that my brain understands it. That's just my thought behind it. Um, but what, what about you guys? What about do, what do you think about reincarnation? Is it a possible theory? Is it something you never heard about? Or I, I, rather I, not answer? <laughs> I, was brought, I was brought up with it. I mean, it's, it's a hard thing for me to answer based on how my feelings are most thing. I, I always found that very funny, being in the Catholic organization, how people are so against a lot of times, mm -hmm. uh, Christians believing in ghosts and that, and it's like, and I'm not in some, please, I'm just talking from the way I was a general. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't believe in ghosts, but you believe in somebody in a cloud looking down, or you believe in, it, it's, it baffles my mind, and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody. I don't know almost how one side can believe in one and not the other sometimes. And I know there's different sections to it. 
Mm -hmm. To me, you'd be open to the possibilities of one if you're already open to the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always found so baffling. I, I can't wrap my head around it. Well, right. see, another thing about our channel, too, is even though we have our beliefs that we follow religiously and, and things like that, we're also very open-minded. You know, I'll mm -hmm. sit down and I'll talk to a Wiccan or Native American or whatever other beliefs because I'm, a for, you know, first and foremost, a, a lifelong learner. You know, being mm -hmm. in education, I want to learn about everything. And you hit the nail right on the head. And I made this comment in a private group before and really lost friends over it is you know yeah. in the bible in the christian bible they said that every spirit that we see is a demon it's demonic but you know the bible has been interpreted you know is yeah. that true is it not true we believe mm -hmm. that you know jesus christ rose from the grave you know yeah. but yet every other spirit that we see is demonic uh you know i to me I don't buy that. And if that's something that God's not going to like me for and send me back or whatever, I'm sorry, you know, but I, I just don't, I can't wrap my head around that thought. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there's a reason why people are making these reports. They're making these claims. They're, they're saying this stuff and people privately, privately mm -hmm. contact us and say, Hey, I got this going on. What do you think? You know, it's not like they're doing it to sell tickets to go to the place. They're, you know, some do that. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's call it what it is. You know, they're looking to make a buck. But, you know, there's people privately like, hey, you know, I there's something really weird going on. What do you think? You know, mm -hmm. and why? Why is that happening? And that that's, I don't know. I went off on but, another tangent again instead of having our guest talk. I'm well, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> In our church years ago, like, if you got a message from God, you became a priest. Exactly. Mm -hmm. to another spirit, they did an exorcism on you and threw you in asylum. Like, it's so funny. Like it, it, that was the one thing. And I just wanted to touch because you had asked me about spiritual, like uh, about how they tie in for me. And a, a great example is in religion that my mother is uh, Protestant. I was raised Catholic and she has a very strong belief, but not dominating on others. And once again, about that, I want to believe I seen her before before I was born, like she lost her father, right, and then she married my dad, and then they lost five children. They carried them full term and lost every one of them. Then they adopt me. Then her sister, not 500 feet from our house, uh, her husband got up one morning and shot her, my three cousins, and himself, all five of them. This was a rural area in the 70s where crime never happened. And she doesn't ever talk about it, but she... She says, one time she says, it's my belief in Jesus Christ that got me through it. And I always come back to that, I think, as my will to want to believe. Because I'm like, she ended up raising us decently, had all these things after going through so much in such a short amount of time. That maybe I feel like I've missed out on something by not being able to believe. And that's like paranormal or strength, like a strong connection with uh, something higher power as well. It's not just limited to the paranormal. And once again, what Marianne said a while ago is so true. I think for myself, it goes back to a lot of trust issues. Mm -hmm. And some, you know, can put them in different places. And for me, it just seems like more of a broader spectrum on those kind of things. But it's not that I don't want to, because I see the comfort in her. It amazes me to this day. She told me that 25 years ago. And I still think of it probably at least three, four times a month. It comes back to me. Mm -hmm. And it does make you not angry, but like, especially when things are going bad, it's like, why can't I have that belief? That would be so awesome to have something right now to think that, you know what, you're not alone on this. I mean, I have a wife and all this stuff, but somebody you can go to in your thoughts and get a little bit of a, it's going to be okay, or we're not in, you're not in this alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if that ties into everything. I just thought maybe it sums up what you no, guys were asking it, a while ago. It, it, it does. And I just want to, I just want to throw this out there. Okay, because you guys are guests, I want to hear you guys talk because this is this is what I wanted you on here for. Okay, but and this is my personal beliefs again, and I know we might lose subs, whatever. Uh -oh. I don't care. Okay, but okay, the belief that you talked about and your and that your mom had that gave her peace. <clears throat> she believed in it. That was something that she believed in that gave her peace. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Whether we go by the teachings of Christianity, whatever, everything, that there's a higher power, the belief in it is what's helping us cope with things in our mind, okay? Sure. So I'm going to tell you this, Andrew. Your family, 
your wife, everything that makes you happy, including your community that you're building here on YouTube, you love everybody and you have belief in them. And that that is what you need to look to to get inner peace. Is that some yeah. divine intervention? Maybe it is. Maybe there's something that pushed you to do YouTube or pushed you guys to meet up together in the in the game. Oh, we lost it. Jeez. It's just unstable right now. Are you still here? Yeah, it's just unstable right now. It's not. All right. Are you back? Yep, we hear okay. you. Oh, nope, we're offline now. Okay. Oh, we did. Uh, are, are you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Yep, yeah, we can hear okay. you. Yep, so, but, you're back clear now. But what I'm saying is, is maybe there was something that, that brought you guys together so that you had that belief. That's all I'm saying. Whether it's God mm -hmm. or higher power or whatever, you got to find that in yourself and say, yeah, okay. Yeah. I love my life right now. I believe in this, and this is this is what I'm, I believe in. So there you I go. I think it's some ways you, yeah, I have that and I value that one a lot. And I think maybe in one way, as weird as it sounds, it helps me value it a little bit more because I don't go to the other part. Mm -hmm. But I think there's that curiosity, either the grass is always greener or curiosity sake, you know, what it would be more like. So, yeah. but yeah, no, it, it's, it's a, it's an awesome thing. Even somebody who, like you say, helps connect somebody and it's not for money and not all those things. What an amazing gift to give somebody, no matter how it's done or why. Sometimes it's almost not even worth questioning in the moment to see somebody walk out to actually have some, uh, uh, faith restored in their, in themselves and the, uh, or, uh, you know, a, a bit of loss restored. I think it's absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Having faith restored in mankind is always a great thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. always a great thing. I know I've mentioned it, I think, on our streams before, but um, when I was a small child, I apparently had some uh, visions of angels that yeah. were flying around above the uh, altar at church when I when I was in church, and my mom was freaked out, you know, that I would have been seeing this, and she went to our priest, and our priest, I think, was. It was very nice that uh, I had a priest like this, that he, he said, well, she might have. It's yeah. okay. She could have seen those things. And so, like, growing up for me, uh, it would have probably been a lot different mm -hmm. if I would have had a different priest who wouldn't allow that. But I had a Catholic priest who was saying, well, it's possible. Yeah. He was encouraging. You know, uh, so. didn't say go <laughs> stick her in, in a loony bin somewhere or anything. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't remember any of that but my I, I know my mom tells me stories about it um but i feel very fortunate that we had that ability um and i just think that there's a lot of church beliefs that it's not saying there isn't any other thing out there that they're all demonic or anything like that um mm -hmm. because even my priest said yeah. you know that it wasn't um but or i did want to hear you just thought you were nuts saying, well, oh yeah, yeah there's that reagan yeah. girl <laughs> I just think put her in a corner. I have an expression <laughs> I use for music all the time. I learned over the years that I don't really hate genres of music, but I really can't stand the fans. I think that was the same as church. I think the more on the church, it was more some of the, 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 the followers that tend to get on the nerves more than anything else. Yeah. And it's not everybody's into it, but there's, a, you know, I've met some priests that were actually so opening and warm and ministers and uh, uh they are human beings too and some of them can really reach out to people they're they're not all closed-minded and no openings yeah mm -hmm. so ksenia did you have any thoughts on reincarnation uh i do believe in incarnation i do believe in in energy that doesn't uh go anywhere it just transforms into different matters and i i don't think it's always is a human being there's lots of other different ways of uh transforming the energy um and um they actually have act uh, in science even if we talk about believing they have talked about the the same energy in the universe and how it uh, never goes away so uh, maybe well, there is some scientific well actually idea. thomas edison and alvin einstein both had those theories and and tested those out and were yep. following those and you know that goes back to some of the brilliant minds that we know Definitely. in american history oh, that exactly. that have you know studied that kind of stuff so yeah mm -hmm. that's that's quite interesting now are you guys going live at seven we're uh 
Around seven or eight, probably. We're okay. still trying to work everything out with the kids. Are <laughs> okay. Can we can we go to seven, or is that pushing it too much? Yeah, that's no problem. Okay. 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 There were a couple questions uh, from Valkyrie. Uh, said, "How do you know that you're not praying to Satan and demons in paganism? How do you know that you're praying to God and you have faith, and so does she?" Yeah, that's a, the mm. quote. Uh, I, I love that. Exactly. It is all about faith. It doesn't matter into what, really. Because, like, say, like, for example, for me, it's a it's a, it's a big mixture of everything. I do believe in, in the natural energy, so to say, and, and uh, you know, um, nature, so to say. Uh, and, and then at the same time, something maybe more above us, would you call it the God or, you know, or karma or whatever you want to call it. I don't really care how you name it is there is some kind of energy that helps us but how do you call it why, do, why does it matter really uh, yeah, yeah yeah and that, and that's what you know I, I keep saying us you know it's mainly me i think marianne will stab me with her nails if i'm wrong but um you know we welcome and it, like i keep saying we welcome everybody you know what i mean we we have our beliefs and what we do, especially when we go investigate our protection prayers and that kind of stuff, and that's what we believe in. Oh. And we don't push that on people. Like yeah. even when we've taken 50 people on a bus someplace, I tell them, look, we're going to say a protection prayer. It's a Christian-based protection prayer. If you don't believe in that, just say to whatever higher power you believe in to get protection, you know. And it, it's just... That's just how we are. We love everybody. You know, we have to. I, th you know? I think everybody's known us well enough by now that we don't really belong. We're not going to belong in the groups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I knew I was going to get a yeah. good scratch for that one or something. <laughs> but see, I'm interested to sit down with somebody who practiced paganism or practices Wiccan or, pro or whatever. Let's talk about it because it's interesting to see the similarities. Well, you know. when we got married, like you guys know, it was a Viking wedding, and yeah. I'm going I'm to shoot straight from the hip. A, I was Catholic before, I didn't want to pay for an annulment, on, and I'm not judging me right now, Tom, me, didn't care. Get us something where we can do it, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So she had the, the, the pagan wedding, and I got to say, the priestess was so awesome. Yeah. It was so nice. So nice. Such an old mind. Yeah. And for somebody who wants to believe at the time, I, I'm not joining anything, once again, not big with groups. Pagan is actually really speaks to me because it's a lot like Native American traditions. It's all based mm -hmm. on earth, wind, fire, grass, all tangible stuff right in front of you, more the, the energy surrounding you than above. Mm -hmm. I actually could probably relate in the in the short term more with that than I could with Christianity at this time in my life. Well, you know, really Christianity, awesome. Christianity is based on paganism. Of course, definitely. You know? like, it's all so, roots. Yeah, it's, it's, absolutely. Absolutely. You um, know? We went through the similar. Oh, we went through the similar thing. You know, I was married before, oh. and Mary Ann wanted married in her church, mm -hmm. so we had to go right. through that annulment, you know, thing. And it was, mm -hmm. it was. I agree with you. It was stressful, man. But you know, I, I stuck out. I, oh, I you. you know, to to get it done because she wanted married, be married in her church that she grew up in. You know, and why? Why are you going to go through all that? You know, but okay, that's just the rules of the church. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, you know, as long as you love Even each if other. You're dedicated to the church. The annulment, I understand. Maybe okay, you got to do a you know a ceremony sit on top of the priest, explain what happened or something. Right. Just the way it's set up is almost here. We're going to throw money to you, and I almost got to like get down on my knees and say sorry for all the years I've screwed up in front. It's such a judgmental thing this day and age. I find they should. There's certain things got to be changed in the church. I just found the whole annulment process a little shaming, if you will. Mm -hmm. if that's that's the part. I mean, but once again, if you guys want to get married in that church, it is important. I can't. I'm not. Yeah. I'm talking about my personal. Well, it's just so that's so that the, that the priest from that church can follow the the rules, the correct yeah, exactly. rules. That's just the rules of the church. Is it the yep. rules of God? Eh, who knows? You know, <laughs> but it's just the rules of that church, so he doesn't get in trouble. You know, yeah, so well, of course. And the funny thing is, is my second marriage wasn't even a Catholic mar marriage. It was like soon somebody read it, which was like, boom, okay, whatever, yeah. you know, because they didn't recognize it. But we still had to go through the steps. The process. Yeah. So. So uh, Val says that she thinks maybe the energy appears to people in the way they really need it. 
So for Christians, it's Jesus and God. Other religions, it might yep. be different. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there was somebody else who had one that I wanted to mention. Uh, oh, the Lady Vamp said that uh, she's considered an eclectic witch. She takes from all and throws out what she doesn't feel is truth. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. That love is that. such, oh, exactly. that is awesome. I, I, that's, a, I, I mm -hmm. love that. <laughs> You're, there, there's my quote of the night. <laughs> this so, is good. Even if you believe in something, it's good to question things. You've got to. Oh, you absolutely. Want, absolutely. You, question you know, everything. Not that it's wrong in the end. You might find it more truth than you started. I mean, it's just the point of that shows that you're ably part of what you belong to if you're questioning. You okay? Yeah, this, this thing keeps falling out of my ear all night. I just keep <laughs> playing with it. <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? This is our first night. Are you guys Absolutely. Us okay with the mic? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do. What about, what yeah, about what everybody about in, the chat? in chat? Are you hearing them okay? Sorry, guys, I don't mean to interrupt the stream. I just thought this would be a good time to ask. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, that's fine. We're live on 97.2 FM talking oh. to Paranormal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking down and I'm like, wait a second. What, what, what did we, oh, did I push funny. a button? <laughs> you didn't. That's probably whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I you thought we got that. a radio station there for a second. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so, no, we're getting because we we're thinking of getting a second mic, but if we sit close enough together, I think we might just stay with one. I'm worried if I put two, we're going to be um, getting crossover from each other. That's why I was curious. Yeah, we yeah. just got the we one. We just have the one that we, we use. We have the one. It's actually, you know, one of those regular. That, that's uh, this one here is. Or you can see the back of it there. So, yep, I can hear you as well. <laughs> It did cut out for a second, but I can hear you as good now. <laughs> Guys, also, I, I think you were asking if we were going to go live after. I think we just found out what our theme might be. We're 24 away from 3,000. I didn't say that. Oh, I'm so cool. I didn't play hooky on you, but I did go in to see Lunatic Dad. Just to, I gave him a quick shout out because I told him I go tonight. He was supposed to start at four. So we. Oh. See, every time I open my mouth when I'm with Panic D and that something happens, I gotta be quiet. I'm just gonna put it on mute. I tried to say that earlier, but nobody listens. <laughs> well, you say so much, I didn't pick it up between the words. <laughs> yeah, no, you missed my way. <laughs> Oh my. Don't mind us. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I need a cloth, hun. Quickly, <laughs> quickly, quickly, stop laughing and go get a cloth. I just want to <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> and she, please don't, oh, you want, oh, your shirt, okay. <laughs> there we go, that works. <laughs> there. Oh, good. I got my shirt. I love being wet. I got to go change, guys. Give me a second. Sorry. We're just trying to keep everybody entertained while we have the technical issues. Okay, now. Uh -huh. Okay, they are having mic problems and they're trying to fix it now. So if you can hear me, I'm going to take it over for two minutes. <laughs> 
uh, if you have any questions to Panic D videos or to check, us check, check. in the last 10 minutes before check. this live stream ends, please uh, put it down in check. the chat. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Can you guys hear us now in chat? They said they had, they weren't able and to. They said make sure. Oh my well, God. They can, can hear guys... us talking, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you guys hear us in chat? What's that, Sean? You Panic don't believe has volume in any of this again. Stuff? Yay. Yeah. Art yeah. Okay. Yes. What Yay. is that, Sean? What? Sean, Sean said that he doesn't believe in all this stuff and it's just a big thing to get tons of money out of it. That's, That's right. It's all a bunch of. Oh, they're back. They're back. Oh, yeah. wow. Call me P.T. Barnum of the paranormal. <laughs> oh, wait. Is the mic live? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, note. Sean doesn't touch the microphone. Well, wow, we're again. using a different <laughs> mic. I don't know what mic we're using. We don't sound the same, but I don't know. Oh, we don't we're have using much, a different mic? Yeah, we don't have much longer. Oh, so. okay. I got I got sound back, so stop okay. pressing buttons. Yes, okay, I will. I'm not touching it. <laughs> not touching it. Um, yeah, so this is like insane here, folks, if we ever showed you how we do this and why I get so technically like yeah. Yeah, some people do it so simply, and then he always has yeah. to like make it super. I actually could use another monitor here. But... He already has oh. two. He doesn't need more. <laughs> well, we're getting another monitor. We're getting them. I'm right on with you on that one. I got I got a 32 inch up here. There's another one going in. We're getting some more. Uh, we're gonna dress up the set. I almost bought a. Um, what do you call those tables? Those breakfast. You know, you sit on stools. They're more rectangular. What is it called? Uh, bistro style. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. She's just loving She knows the damn word. She's just looking at the slide. What is this? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <trying> to... <laughs> slide God. Hey, I just noticed something. We never lit the candles tonight. Oh, you're right. You're right. That, we didn't. That's a dedicated following. I love when they notice stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to put the bistro set right in the living room here. We're going to redo the whole thing over, set it up more like that. And it might still happen. See, a that's bistro a table just wouldn't be big enough for us. <laughs> Uh, there was a question uh, uh, from Mystic Angel. Uh, I have heard that Wicca is based on the Earth elements. Is that correct? I th uh, well, uh, any paganism, uh, faith or belief, whatever you want to call it, it is based on on, on nature elements. Um, it's just the different variations of it. So I think it's the same as it is with religions and different names for it. There's a bit different interpretation. The same as with paganism. It's just different Sorry. names has a slightly different interpretations from it. Like we, our wedding, uh, that was under a satru uh, paganism, uh, which is also based on, on four elements. But uh, that's what I think uh, is the answer to your question. Thank you for it. Uh, Have a great night, Art Morbid. Yeah, Art Morbid's uh, taken off. Thank you for stopping by. Um, <laughs> Lawrence, everyone focus on the candles so they light. <laughs> yeah. Everyone think hard. We didn't light the candles. Can I just tonight. say one thing to Artemor, but I meant to say the other night. I'm glad it's nice to see you again. I know you had a really busy summer with gigs and everything. It's nice to see you back. So sorry, I just wanted to say oh, that. Oh no, that's fine. I was actually typing the pretty much the same that's okay, thing. Okay, Andrew, in the I chat. think you already left, but that's all right. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> so while you were playing with your mic, Andrew spilled, I think, his coffee all over himself. So yep. that's why. <laughs> hey, the power didn't go out. Okay. We Here didn't, we didn't yeah. lose power, but yeah. he didn't say that word either. So, you know, we got like seven more minutes. <laughs> um, and in the meantime, the girls were con controlling the broadcast so. controlling no less controlling is the word because senya took over like like she knew what she was doing on one of these things yeah, like you had some practice control oh you can have the controls my dear right here. Yes. i get controlled all the time anyways i told you i just guessed her yes that's because that string in the back of my head she's like <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is you, got a, you got a good controller, so you're lucky. So. That's right. She steers me in the, the, the right direction. Thank you. So <laughs> you guys are to. going on at, at around 8, you said? Somewhere between 7 and All 8. All right. I'm so, hey, sure. hey, folks, you know what? Uh, our party's guests are gonna going to Party's going to move over to Pusha Studios later. So, you know, if you're not subbed to their channel, 
I I'm just uh, dropped the link again for their channel. You guys are missing oh, thank out. You. You're thank missing you so out. Much. You have I to. Close to 3,000. It's unbelievable. I think I've, been, it was seven, I've been doing seven that, but I'm not good at it like you. I don't actually say whose link I'm sticking in there. I just, just keep dropping this link. <laughs> Uh, you're like me once again on that one. I do that all the time. <laughs> we hope that it's going to push your studios. Well, I think it was. <laughs> I think it's Pretty seven, sure. six or seven days ago we hit uh, 2,500. I That's think it's awesome. going to be seven days if we hit it tonight. That's awesome. It, uh, Touring taste buds, you missed hey. my paranormal story. Uh, Andrew almost died, and I see the future. That's in short. <laughs> yeah. That's the short <laughs> snippet. There you go. But well, that was good. <laughs> That's your uh, audio tidbit, you know. If you, yeah. want to... <laughs> you want to see how it happened? Oh, Watch the live stream rebroadcast. <laughs> if you want to know what's going to happen tomorrow, ask Asanya. <laughs> oh, hi, Tori Taste Buds. Thank you. I'm just joking around here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. It's so nice to sit down with you guys. It's been too long since we've done this. This is really cool. Yes, Thanks. I agree. Uh, TikTok was yeah. saying the same thing. It's yeah. good to hear you guys talking uh, together, and and uh, that's exactly it. When we we're talking about that as well, it's yeah. it's uh, we missed that. Now. <laughs> when we're bringing back like tube lives coming back again very soon, and then we're gonna be able to do more like we used to as well. That's mm -hmm. gonna be another because we were gone for a big part I'm of the really summer. We really missed what half the time. summer we were off the grid. So yeah, we I missed know, you we guys missed too. You. Oh, we missed you guys. <laughs> we have withdrawals. We had to find week. something like, else to watch no, on television. This is not on. What are we going to watch? I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we, we, we watched a whole, uh, the whole series. Yeah, we did of, some binge uh, watching. Yeah. Nice. While you were gone, yeah. the people in, in chat, they were telling us that I reminded them a lot of Dexter and I should watch Dexter. We never saw it. We've before. never seen so it. We, so so, we, so it. We, we binged it. We just finished it last week. Uh, we've awesome, been watching awesome it show, eh? over progressing and uh, yeah. yeah. So it would be an awesome spinoff for it. That would be. <laughs> yeah, we love that. We watched yeah. it too. And uh, yeah. I think last year we watched it. And, uh, and yeah, it was uh, awesome. I loved it. He's so good into it. Yeah. So we have a few minutes left, and I think now that you guys are on here with us, I think we may need to make this. Uh, I don't know if anybody picked up on it, like last season on your show or anything, where we were talking about the big Halloween thing. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. So everybody who's here, kind of watching. I mean, we're still pushing twenty-five watching right now, so you guys are going to get awesome. an exclusive. This is going to start coming out here probably maybe next week, but there's going to be a huge thing going on with Panic D videos and several other YouTube creators that we're going to come together and do a mystery for you guys that you have to go out and solve. And then we're going live on Halloween and do the reveal and announce the winners. That's right. We no, were just really putting some things together. Yeah. Yep. So we're at the point now where we're going to start going back and contacting the creators again and getting everybody lined up. We already have the mystery all planned out. Mm -hmm. We've got the prizes planned out, how people can enter it. And it's going to be big. It's going to be epic. And you guys are going to have fun. I hope you have fun. If that's, that's something that works out. Interesting. Now yeah. you made now you made it so I have to even go back and put more into it because you're like it's epic. Now I gotta put more into it. <laughs> Are you gonna tell dips. more about it? <sighs> Should we? Should we tell more about it? Well basically this they're gonna have to I don't wanna wanna miss, wanna miss. <laughs> panic, panic, <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> you know I'm going back to take that out for the video. <laughs> 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 oh. uh, all right so oh. basically here's the gist of it because everyone's hanged with us to the end i guess we could reveal a little bit so basically the gist of it is that you get to visit every one of the creators that participate and get some clues you gotta watch a little quick little video that they're putting out mm -hmm. and then you come back and you try to piece together the mystery or the message you piece it together and if you get it right you're entered to win a $25 gift card then if you solve the mystery you solve it there's a second entry 
where you can win another $25 gift card and some actual gold. Did the chat go silent? <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. That was so awesome. There, you got your sound clip and there's your thumbnail. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of faces for the thumbnails. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I, I've told a couple of people this too. On our videos, the hardest part about those videos is that beginning little thing. It's like yeah. we'll oh, sit catch. here, we'll sit here getting ready to record for like the five heck? minutes. Like, what are we gonna say? I don't know. I don't that actually that should be a good one. Right. What what should we say to enter? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's kinda like that same question. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. You know? That's the hardest part about those. That's true. Remember when we made the cheers video uh, yes. with everybody into it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Researching it, I was they actually on them. Remember they always start off with a little joke that had nothing to do with the show. Yeah. The whole session, it's actually got a term. It's called the cold opener. But with them, they actually took the jokes that didn't make the final cut and put the bad ones at the beginning. And I that stuck oh, with them. Oh, that's, that's cool. so weird. You know, you that's figure awesome. you're your best foot forward, so that takes some pressure off of making openers. So. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's pretty you, cool. No, I found that was a little tidbit that was interesting. That's awesome. Uh, All right, folks. Hey, if you want to enter to win it, that big giveaway, I shut down the screen. So oh, I have to get that she's link. Hold drop on a the second. Link, I got to switch my, my <sighs> copy paste link from Pusha yeah. Studios to the giveaway. So you have until September 20th to enter. And basically, you like our, you like us. You really, really like this. Sorry. So basically, you subscribe and hit the bell, take a screenshot, send an email to panicdvideos at gmail.com with the hashtag pick me. Pick me. Pick me. You got to do that before the 20th because we're going live on the 21st and we're doing the big giveaway. And we're, we're not to the point where we're start ready to start adding more $25 gift cards, but... Uh, we need more entries to do that because I said, uh, based on that time, which was September 2nd, every 25 additional entry, we're going to throw in another $25 gift card. So cool. Amazon gift cards. So, um, yeah, if you haven't done it yet, did you drop the link to the video? Is that I the did. right link? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the face. Oh, <laughs> you're lucky you didn't get the claws. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so uh, those were the links to uh, the mm -hmm. giveaway. And I'm going to drop Pusha Studios one more time. And look, I even wrote Pusha Studios oh, on that one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, guys, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming on and sharing your story and, and being, the, being a part of Let's Talk Paranormal. And I'm uh, sorry about the glitches, folks. I knew that was going to happen. Our internet's horrid. We'll have to play with that and get that figured out. But I really appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, and thank you, Xenia, for you know sharing mm. what you usually don't share with others, sharing it with us. So we appreciate that. Thank you so much. I was really nervous today. <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much. It's been uh, awesome, and I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else but you because we've gone grown so close to uh, each other that I, I did feel comfortable mm. enough uh, doing that. So I do appreciate it. Thank you. Know that, guys. I really do appreciate it. We've been in this a while. It feels like years together. It's really it does, don't it? <laughs> it feels like years. <laughs> I told to my father, I said, YouTube is like dog years to real years for some reason. Oh my it feels God, like 7-1, yes, yes, you yes. know? It, it's it true. Good. It's hard to believe it. We just met you guys less than a year ago. Well, wait wait, you wait know? a minute. Before we close out, there's a question. TNT Performance Cards UK. Do you have Amazon? They're Amazon gift cards. How would I use a gift card in the UK? That's a good question. <laughs> they, they don't have Amazon? I'm assuming have they have Amazon. Amazon. It's an Amazon gift card. Uh, but we're giving away other Ooh. stuff too, t-shirts, travel boards, all kinds yes. of stuff. So, I I thought Amazon was worldwide. I did too. Are they not worldwide? Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay custom uh, yeah. duty for UK. You, it's a different branch, like Canadian Amazon and you. Uh, oh, US. yeah, that's right. We we do have credits under UK Amazon. Our book is is worldwide, so we'll, yeah. we'll, we we can figure that out. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll figure it out. Not a big deal. If you win. 
not a problem. Um, I, I love you guys so much. I swear yeah, to God, it's we awesome. Do, we do have that UK channel somehow with the book okay. through Amazon. But, um, I'd like to see you guys in a store. I could just picture Sean. Yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to get that one over there. And she's like, oh, like this behind. Like that. Like, just... Well, you know what? For for giveaways, that's him. For eBay, that's me. <laughs> oh, so you each other out, then that's awesome. That's right. I'm on eBay going, I want that. And I want that. I want that. And he's like, I want to give away that. Yeah, I want to give away that. You got a shirt. That. And you got a shirt. And you got a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I just entered the giveaway. So for those of you who haven't... Uh, Please do that. Mm. And this time I actually send it to you guys. <laughs> We're wondering why the Sean was mentioning about sending to yourself. That was me. That was I you. <clears throat> all, the all right. Hey, can you guys hang around for a couple minutes while we sure. shut things yeah, down here? All right. Folks. All right. Hey. Thank you again so much for coming on tonight. Thank we appreciate yes, thank it. Thank you everybody so yes, much. Well, thank yes. you. And, and they're going on here in a little bit. So you yeah. So we're ahead right, right over there. Yeah. I'm going to drop their, their, uh, Yep. Link We're again. Take a little break and head on over. Head over there. Make sure you visit them tonight. All right. Are you ready? Thank ready. you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. Much love. Thank you. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you'd like to see more videos from Panic D videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also, help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.